Hey guys, hey, I just want to come to you with encouragement today. Listen, God is so big and he's watching over us during this crisis. I just thank God for the testimonies that I've heard of God's great faithfulness during all of this. And one of the things that I know happened last night was that there was uh, storms. There was uh, potential tornadoes, there was sirens that went off and of course, we pray for anyone that's been affected by that. Please let us know if you've been affected during that. But you know, one of the things that was really um, telling was Nala, uh, who's right here in the picture with me. Um, she was really struggling. And um, it, it was interesting that she was squealing uh, with kind of sadness and concern before the storm came and during the storm. And then even after the storm, she was still shaking. And I feel like there's a lot of folks that are going through that very same feeling. Like, when's this crisis going to get over with? When's it going to end? How's it going to end? The fear of the future and what it might look like. But I want you to know there's hope in Jesus Christ. You know, David often felt overlooked. And uh, he was, of course, a giant killer. And yet it goes into unique and embarrassing detail to talk about the struggles that he had, the difficulties and challenges that he faced uh, emotionally and spiritually and even sexually in the Bible. It goes into great and explicit detail, talking about someone who struggled. And, and, and so I want to just walk through with you a psalm that we've been going through over the last number of Mondays, and it's the 23rd Psalm. Of course, many of you know it by heart. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, and he leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. And then it goes, uh, I love this part, uh, that it says, he, he guides me through the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear because you are with me. And that was what I tried to do last night with Nala. I tried to give her comfort, reminding her, hey, dad's right here. I can take care of you. Uh, I can help you out here. And um, so when you're going through these difficult moments, I hope that you take courage, not because of who you are and how great you are, because of how, but because of how big your God is. He's good. He's faithful. It goes on to say, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. And then he finally says in verse six, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, that's the greatest reminder of comfort we could receive right now during this time of crisis. I thank God for our leaders, our pastors who are working nonstop. They are literally round the clock working to try to serve the church in as many ways as humanly possible and to serve this city in as many ways as they can. But I also want you to know that as wonderful as our leaders are and our, our team that is serving by way of elders and our staff and deacons, for as much as each one of us is trying to do to serve you need to know that our comfort comes from being in the house of the Lord, to feel secure in knowing who you are in Christ. And you know, that's really the kind of comfort I was trying to give Nala is, listen, you're in my house and I'm going to try to take as good a care of you as I can. But beyond that, you need to know that God our Father is the true comforter because he's the one that takes good care of us beyond the storm. He takes care of us before the storm, in the storm, and after the storm. And he's going to take care of you today. Let me pray for you. God, I pray a spe specific and strategic blessing over each and every person watching. That they would feel that sense of comfort. That they know that you're beside them. That you're caring for them. That you're watching out for them. And Lord, I bless them today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your prayers for the church as we're walking through this as well. And thank you for uh, knowing the, the love of God is caring for you and comforting you during this time. Thank you for being a strategic blessing to others that you can pass along 
that kind of encouragement. I bless you in Jesus' name today. God bless you. We love you.